Hello, everyone, uh, and welcome to our FLUF 2023 Q&A panel sessions. My name is Kirsten Sensky, and I'm the programming manager here at FLUF. Uh, today, we have the opportunity to learn more about some filmmakers who have had their films uh, presented at this year's festival, and I would love to begin by having them introduce themselves. Uh, so whoever would like to go first, please feel free to begin. Hi, how are you? I am David. Director of Three Migrant, and here with me is Gustavo, my co-director. Hi. So Three Migrant is a documentary about um, the in, the wheel industry in the northern of California, where there are a lot of farms with wheel um, cannabis culture, and we went there for three years, um, we start we start like a dreamers. Um, we start to shoot uh, the documentary around uh, different farms, meeting people there, meeting uh, another three immigrants. Um, I don't know. Good to see everyone. Uh, my name is Guillermo Barajona. I am one of the co-director, writer, producers for uh, Decision, uh, which is in Los Shorts programs uh, from week one. Uh, decision uh, is fictional drama that tells the story of our main character, Ramon, who uh, has to confront many situations from his past in order for him to make, like the name, a decision in order for him to resolve his immigration status. So it's a, a piece with still talking about the immigrant story, the struggle of many people looking to find improve their status here in the U.S., and of course the conversation around DACA recipients. Awesome. Well, thank you guys all so much. Again, really appreciate you taking the time to be a part of this conversation. Uh, I'm going to dive right into things and I'll be posting this question in the chat as well. Uh, but I'd like to hear more about what inspires you to make your film and what you found to be the most challenging part of your filmmaking process. Uh, and whoever is ready to go first can just dive into that. Please. Okay, yes. Uh, well, uh, so last year, uh, my best friend, co-director, uh, co-producer, Rosanna Hill and I, uh, we were making uh, the runs with a previous short film that we had worked on called Mo, which was a comedy documentary, still brushing up on the themes of identity and also uh, immigration. So as we were making the rounds in the festival, we were having these conversations on what will be our next project and it, within those conversations in the festival tour we came up with the script uh, for the session so we had a few topics on how we wanted a person that needed assistance and in the original draft it was uh it was rebecca instead of ramon and having that conversation with rose we were we were thinking oh uh, particularly was okay yeah it's it's a great character. However, if we look at it, it just like out like in a broader perspective, it was just still it still came down to uh, damsel in in distress type of uh, situation. So then Rose so geniusly uh, helped recraft the whole dialogue and uh, the situation so that we could, we will have Ramon that we will have a male figure that needs assistance that is still overcoming the machismo present in our cultures and uh, vulnerability in that in that sense so that's what was part of our challenges on making this film and uh giving it the, the right intention when it comes to also the topics of allyship the topics of uh seeking legal advice so that was part of that uh inspiration and of course how th the immigration topic was re really really strong um when it came to DACA last year uh and you know when this was written we didn't ex we didn't expect to have a ruling so soon uh, from the fifth district court. So uh, literally the week before we filmed, we had this horrendous ruling that really literally turned uh, our fiction into reality, uh, which was really unfortunate, really terrible. So that's what we decided to add in the info cards that latest update, so the so that the audience know that we we are aware of what was going on as this was being produced. For for us, well, what is what is inspired more to us was like we always dream with to make a documentary. 
So we was living here in Mexico City as roommate. Um, we, we lost the apartment in that point. Uh, we, we say, oh, okay, let's let's go and try to go to California and see what 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 these people is is doing. Um, when when we arrived there, we we was surrounding for farms of weed, and this was crazy for us. We never saw this before. So we said to uh, to us like uh, we have we have a movie here. We, this is the documentary that we always dream to do. So we start to shoot. Um, I think the, the inspiration always was to make more movies. Um, and this was a great opportunity uh, about. Um, what else? And what's the challenging part of your, okay. Well, the challenging was, was a lot of challenge around the, the, the shooting. First was like, um, uh, we was, it's, it's like a sketchy situation, the farms and the culture that is around. So we, was difficult to us to sneak into this culture and, and start to uh, take out the camera and start to shoot this. So one of the challenge was the people trusting us no, and after that, another challenge when we find streamers around was like a, they they want they want the interview or, or they want to be in the in the movie. So people was a fair a little bit about it, um, and after that, like they they start to recognize us, like ah, oh, they, they are the filmmakers who are doing this documentary, this crazy documentary about. So we start to to have more uh, like a like a post um, like a good good vibes from the people, but yeah, I think that was uh, the most challenge uh, situation. No? Thank you guys both for sharing that information. Uh, I'd like to dive into the next question, which kind of also might tie into the first one. Uh, I'd like to hear more about uh, how has collaboration impacted your filmmaking process? Uh, so the theme of FLAF this year, one of our underlying through lines is this idea of collaboration, you know, with people in the community, other people in the artistic process. So I just love to hear more about how that really impacted and shaped the work that you created? Well, we have, we have really lucky because uh, Francisco, who was next to us just when we started the, the conversation, he's our producer. So he's director as well. And he was, he was developing films before us to us. So with he, he bring to the table all the knowledge about how to, to make a film because we start to shoot, but we, we didn't have an structure or we didn't have like a, the, the goal to where we, we, we was going in that, in that moment. So like he's like the father of the, of the documentary because he helped us a lot to structure the, the, the film um a find resource to finish the film in in the post production way um we have lucky as well because landia where is the production company where we work now they they invest in the post production we we could make a, like a, a really nice animations uh, like a bfx um have have like a original music, sound design, all, all these kind of things that you guys know that cost a lot of money, we, we find in, in the process. So that is the, I think is the, the most important collaboration that, that we have before. All, also, I think that the farmers, uh, we become friends of the farmers and they always open the doors of the places and the, the houses 
and probably they didn't want to be part of the film, but they they open as friends and they they leave us to stay there uh, and like that. So that, that was also like a really good collaboration with us. Uh, thankfully, um, Rose and I will go way back and different uh, gigs shows that we have worked uh, here in Vegas. Uh, and that film community here in the city is also pretty united as well. Uh, so, you know, we have worked with some, you know, with the entire cast. We have either worked alongside them in previous shorts, uh, you know, particularly Chris uh, Joey, which is the guy in the hat. If you see him in the movie, uh, we work with him in a different short film that Rosa produced called Lift, uh, also in the festival circuit. And then we brought Chris into Mo. He was the barista in that one. And then we brought him with a more serious role once again here in Decision as uh, Ramon's best friend. And then, of course, uh, you know, everybody knew each other from different plays and other things they have acted on. Uh, so that helped uh, helped easier on, on when it came to craft the relationships of our characters, the friendships, the whether or, or if it was um, the, the lawyer relationship that, you know, Rose's character Huxley has with Ramon. Uh, so that helped us quite a bit uh, in making sure that everybody knew what, what they're supposed to be going in. Uh, but when it came to like the top lines and it came producing and the writing, that's where uh, we both exchanged that exchange of ideas that we were mentioning earlier when it came to the challenges or what inspired the movie. Uh, and then, she, you know, really, um, Rose is, it has been able to like, you know, revise the scripts, revise that dialogue so that it flows better, so that it's more coherent to what we have. Um, and that's that's th that's where, where I'm thankful that we have gotten the chance to do this not once but like two times now, and uh, we're we're excited to see what the future brings for sure on that one. But it's it's definitely helped establish our, our brand on this style of filmmaking, but also like help us become better movie makers as well. So that's what uh, one of those fruits of that labor that has been brought with like our teams in the two shorts that we worked on. So thank you. Uh, I'd like to go into our final question. How do you hope that audiences will react to your film? Well, I mean, uh, on um, I my hope is that uh, it 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 sort of raises that awareness on you know how long of the fight and the work still continues to have a proper migration reform and pr pr proper way of helping people um and but also understanding that it's not just about the politics it's not a, just about you know documents it's 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 about people uh and that's sort of like the under uh, the, the overall message of this that everybody has the, their own story to go through the, their own um struggles to go through when it comes to this topic but at the end of the day we're, we're all just human beings you know we have we have our flaws we have uh, or we have our hopes and dreams and we have uh, the, the, the desire to just continue uh, living. And that's something that we hope that we, that impression that we sort of leave, that our characters are very much as people, that it, whether, you know, they, they're aware of things or they need to learn a few more things along the way, that they, they see uh, Ramon's journey and and think, wow, that, that, that could just be my neighbor down the street. That could be somebody that I know. Um, so that's something that we're hoping to get uh, the reactions from. And, you know, we already in one of the most recent screenings that we had here uh, from the Better Women's Film Festival, we we had some really good reactions to some to, to those reactions, to to that dialogue, to those interactions and and seeing that sometimes, you know, things, things can get as terrible as they can be. But then you you bring yourself your support system. And I think that's that's also the hope that we, we within community that's how we can start helping resolve our issues helping us work for a better tomorrow so that's part of that one well we always hope that the people enjoy the movie like they, they like the movie um, have fun with the movie it's also it's 75 minutes so the time passed fast when you are watching um, but in, in different um, festivals or exhibitions that we had already, like the, we, like we we complete with this with with the hope, and also I, I don't like to say that the movie inspire someone, but 
in, in, in some point, some people that wants to go and drink with in California or have some idea, they, they watch the movie and they say, oh, okay, it's not, it's not everything like a, the rumor say, it's, it's more, it's a, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good testimony about how the industry work over there. So people can make the, their own conclusions about it. But yeah, the, 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 our hope is always to the people enjoy it and, and have fun watching the movie. Great. Is there anything else that um, either of you would like to just add about your film, about yourselves that you want people to know? Well, no, to, just to say thank you. Uh, thank you to the uh, uh, Philadelphia Film Festival. Like, uh, it's, it's a great opportunity to be there. Um, we are really glad about it. Um, I hope you can watch the movie. Please enjoy it. Um, Guillermo, nice to meet you. Thank you, thank you for this space. Yeah, of course. Uh, on our end, uh, we have been, we're honored and excited to be a part of this festival, uh, Philadelphia's Rosa's hometown. Uh, so the family and friends uh, out, out here in Philly, you know, have been very excited to see, uh, catch the movie and uh, they're able to catch it right now on the, on the online play right now. So that, the, the, you know, that's something that we're excited to share with the community here in Philadelphia. Uh, and um, we're, we're just looking forward to see uh, how we can continue building the movie uh, as we the, the intention is that we can build this into a feature uh, as we're continuing to gather support as we continue to show it on screens uh, so so we can build that that um, well, that fan base, I guess, if we, we, if we could use that word in that regard. But uh, yeah, no, just, um, you know, we're happy to be here. And of course, you know, check us out on our social media if you, we can make that plug. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, uh, you know, for, for myself, uh, if you can, I'm just going to give Instagram handles on this. And so if you can, uh, if you like to check, follow our journey as we uh, continue building decision and other or other films, you know, you can check check me out, for example, uh, uh, Gil Barahona, G-U-I-L-L-B-A-R-A-H-O-N-A -L -L -A -A at Instagram. And for Rose uh, Donahue, so at Rose Donahue, R-O-S-E-D-O-N-A-H-U-E, under dash on Instagram as well. You can follow uh, our content, our journey. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to um, seeing everybody online. And of course, hearing your thoughts on this session as well. Thank you. Awesome. Well, I'm just going to close out the session. Uh, first off, I just want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to be here and have a conversation with me. Uh, we really, really are honored to be able to screen your work at the festival and share it with audiences. So thank you so much. We're very grateful for uh, you know, having you here. Uh, I'd also like to take a moment to thank our audiences who are going to be watching this Q&A at home. So thank you to everybody that supports Splav. It's you that make it possible. And if you want to learn more about the festival season or more about our year-long events, please check us out at flaf.org. Uh, thank you to our audience members out there. <laughs>